And this morning, guess who's here? The Love Boat. I, I'm sorry, I cannot believe I'm talking to <laughs> Captain Stubing and Vicky. It just feels right to call you by your by those names. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Hey, Stella. Good Welcome morning. to San Diego. Good morning. So, hey, August is National Romance Month, and in honor of the occasion, you guys are making a special announcement. Give it to us. Well, we are very excited because Princess Cruises has asked Gavin and myself to participate with their attempt to set a world record with the largest marriage vowel renewal at sea. And the best part, the best, best part of all of this is Gavin McLeod, Captain Steubing will be officiating the ceremony. So if anybody yes. wants to get remarried, by the captain, oh, wow. this is your chance. This is your chance. It's February 9th, 2020, aboard the Regal Princess. Or if you just want to get married, we do that too. That's right. There you Work go. Full service. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's a seven day cruise. It'll be so much fun. It's going to be a seven day cruise to the Western Caribbean. From Fort Lauderdale. Right. Um, Cozumel is one of the stops. Oh, but it's going to be a week amazing. Of, of romance. Princess has, has designed and has planned so many fun activities activities for this particular cruise outside of the normal fun fabulous things that they do but this one's about romance yes and I want to tell you in case you haven't taken a princess cruise one of the reasons to experience it are the beds they have the most magnificent mm. mattresses beds he's I've right ever experienced right Jill they're 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 incredible they actually had a, a sleep doctor design them and I have to tell we just so if you want a good night's rest <laughs> come on now I'm wondering so and the, what really and the best on burger the at sea. <laughs> so what really happened there on you the go. show, right? <laughs> hey, so, you know, the exactly. show, we sleep a lot. Uh, right. The show really <laughs> changed uh, the nation's view of cruises, right? Prior to the show, it was really only for affluent people. The industry, you guys really changed the industry, making it more accessible. It's true because of the exposure. And uh, I remember in the beginning there were very few people, and then as as the years kept going on, we would get more and more mail from people saying, "How do we take a cruise? How do we take a cruise? How do mm -hmm. we take a cruise?" And Princess Princess alone started to expand to the point of uh, we had two small ships in 1986 when the show went off the air. We have 18 now. We have another another five more coming. So uh, business is absolutely wonderful. It's that song: "Give them what they want." When they want it, they'll be coming back for more. And that's what's happening with Princess Cruises. That is awesome. Did you guys shoot on the set or did you shoot on the cruise? And how many places in the world did you visit? We, we did both. We yes. shot on a set and then we also did two uh, cruises per year. Uh, was it two weeks? So six weeks a year we actually, by the end of the show's run, we were sailing six weeks a year. We were going all over, all the, over world. the world. In the beginning we were oh. just Mexico and yeah, and then Alaska. And then we really caught on with the world and that's when we started to go to, to London and Paris and Germany and all the and rest. Egypt and Israel, Copenhagen we in and Israel. We were, we were, The oh, we Great were, Wall of China. China, the Great Wall that we were in China. Yeah. We were in we Russia. The first film co company to they be allowed, allowed to come in, in the Forbidden City. We were the, the first city. ones allowed to shoot in the Forbidden City. That is amazing. Any possibility of bringing yeah. back the Love Boat, like reboot? Everyone's doing it, even 90210, even if it's a mini series. Well, they've they've talked about it. We're, we're, we've we've been talking about it and considering how we might fit into something like that. So yes. you never know. You know, when I watch you guys in other interviews, uh, the cast in general, you guys seem so genuine. It's amazing. Well, we're lucky. We, we, we all liked each other, and that's yeah. the truth. <laughs> that's and good. Uh, we were all happy. We were all grateful that we had nice, wonderful jobs. And we, we eventually, as uh, the critics hated us, thought we were mindless television, but we became goodwill ambassadors for the United States. And we just recently got a star on Hollywood Boulevard. And the one thing I said, I said, if we listened to those critics, we would have been off in two weeks. Absolutely. So the people were really, at that time, the people were keeping shows on. Mm -hmm. And we were always a people's person show. But I think and the cruises have, have reflected that. And I think the reason that um, you can see the genuine love that we all have for each other is really yes. because Gavin was the captain on the show, but he was also the captain of our cast. And and he set the tone and 
he is just an incredible human being, and that what you see awesome. is what you get. He's so positive and wonderful. You so we were lucky. <laughs> no, we were very How lucky much did to you have pay her to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love you guys. You know, don't listen to the haters. Never. Thank you guys so much, people out there. Mark your calendars, February uh, 9th. That is. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Thank Sella. you so much, Sella. Thank Great you. seeing you.